Andrew from Vox with a few thoughts about confidence. Now, confidence, being a confident person, is clearly going to be an asset. The problem is we tend to think that we're either a confident person or we're an unconfident person. And this idea can become very fixed and it can last our whole lives if we're not careful. So what is confidence? Well, the, the Latin root for the word is confide, which means with faith. So it's about doing things with faith, with faith in ourselves. So think of confidence as a behaviour rather than something that's fixed, rather than a character type. Think about the ways in which, if we think we're not a confident person, we're actually undermining ourselves. Think about the stories that we're telling ourselves that undermine our confidence. And when that inner critic bounces into life, as it often does in a stressful situation, and starts nagging us and telling us negative things about ourselves, listen to that voice and listen to the language and think about whether this is appropriate and whether this is helping you. Imagine talking to someone you managed or someone in your team in that negative way, and apart from a possible tribunal, think about how the effect it would have on them. Rather think about when we're talking to others and we're supporting others, how we encourage them and give them compliments, boost their confidence, and let your inner voice become one that supports you and boosts your confidence. Secondly, don't confuse nerves with being an unconfident person. Nerves can be a great energy. It's an energy that can take you, in a stressful situation, into a very confident place. And this idea about confidence being a behaviour rather than a character type is a very useful one because you can observe the behaviours in other people that display confidence, adopt those, and thereby become a more confident person yourself.